Hi there guys and welcome to part 2 of the class 1 50-2 video uh, review first look if you haven't watched part 1 please 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 go and watch part 1 first uh, this is definitely the follow on after a massive mistake of me actually loading up the old 150 which was good for comparisons reasons and um, we're now in the northern rail cabbed variant of it which again is actually very nice. Now I'm a big fan of uh, Super Elves version of this. Um, but this is also really nice as well. I like the dirt up the side. Oh, it's done really nicely. The weathering is... Now am I getting this right? Is that done on an Alpha? If I remember correctly. I'd, I'd be pretending if I knew what I was talking about when it came to... Uh, reskin stuff. So we're sitting here at Heaton Depot, which is going to make our way down into Newcastle itself. Um, just have a look at this one, really. The different cab, and to talk about the bit that makes this cab very, very different, and that is the GSMR. This is a big, big part of this uh, pack, and something that was included in the 460. So, GSMR. It says in this, beginning in 2013 and completed by 2016, Global System for Mobile Communication, Railway, more commonly known as GSMR. So your mobile phone works on GSM, which is Global System for Mobile Communication. Um, that was what digital mobile phones were. Before that, we had analog, which was not the same. GSM uses cell sites to do it. A complex thing, but not really. It's really easy if you know what you're on about. Uh, it replaced the NRN. Which is and CSR, which is this, and was also included in the 205, so we know they can model that, which is why I wanted to see it in here. Um, actually, I don't know if 150's ever got CSR, I think they only did have an. Oh, is that not S? That, that, mm, that's an RN, I think. Um, this communication system and its accompanying units has been simulated to the best of our ability within the simulator. Please see below for how to register and deregister your train. So, registering. Okay, we need to remove the reverser handle away from off, so that means master key. Cancel AWS. Uh, now it should start the boot up sequence, which it's doing. Nice! It look, is it me, or does it look slightly better modelled than the one in the 460? Powering up and testing. When GSM RGB appears, it a unit has successfully booted. There we go. Press the registration button on the top right hand corner. So we've been through this before. Using numerical keys, insert your four character train reporting number head code, followed by the number you are standing at. So well, I've got nothing to do this with, have I? So if we did let's just do the one I've put in here. So let's do whiskey hotel no st we'll do All right, and then we're standing at 9W42 wouldn't even be one, so let's do say two T eight two. Don't know, and then what we at here? Let's use this one five nine two. Right, you get the gist. You get the gist of it. That's the sort of thing you've got to do. So now we're two tango eight two. We've done that. We'll hear a double beep, and that's it done. So deregistering. You can also turn this off. So if we turn the master reverser to off, deregistering. Please tick to retain. Cool. So in fact, it's actually slightly better done than the 460 because that didn't do that.
and now we are two tango five five right let's get this in to Newcastle oh we need some lights on uh, and then mark lights instrument lights destination indicator tail lights off oh actually on the front Oh, I don't know how to make the destination indicator work. Ah, that's what that camera views are about. Is for the GSMR. There we go. There, there, there we go. Excellent. Excellent. That's why these are first look videos, not full reviews. Right. Let's get the brakes off and some power on. Oh, it is working now. There we go. Got the Metro Centre. Oh, there's some cool ones in there. Oh, I really like those. I might be able to do it myself as well. Should have on special, really, because I am special. In more sense than one. I really like it. I really like driving it. Really, really like driving it. Right, I've done the GSMR. I've done the transmission. We've done wheel slide protection. We've done everything else. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure we've covered it pretty well. We'll also have a quick look at the first Great Western, not first Great Western, just the Great Western Railway one. Um, I was struggling to find where it was, and, I sh and you know, it's one of those things that you guys at home would have been looking at that last video going, Ooh, Alan, it's right there. And me doing a video and getting flustered because I don't usually show you that part of, the, of, of my simulator, I was getting more and more flustered, and it was a waste of five minutes of your time. So I do apologise, but I know where I'm looking now, and we'll get it back up in a minute, and we'll have a look at it. I'm just going to get this into Newcastle first. Because I think it will look awesome sitting in Newcastle. I'm really impressed. Do you know Chris Chris has got this already as well. He got it he got it before me, he got it this morning. He's been messing about with it all day, whereas I've only just got it because I've come back in from work. Um and he hasn't moaned about the destination displays, which is a good thing. Uh, he's actually been incredibly positive about it. Let's roll this into Newcastle. Oh, a lot of you will be asking about the Spad King thing on my, <laughs> my ad. That is a modification made by uh, Nathan Smith for my live stream. And I just haven't, I've quite enjoyed it, so I haven't had the heart to put it back yet to the original. Three-step brake is very, very responsive. Driving it's a dream. Even got a little bit of wheel slide there. Driving it is a dream. That is some. That is a really nice touch. Very, very nice touch. This is like the context book. It's 
standing at signal 8 to... What is this one? 951. Telling us to wait. What's it going to do? I'd be surprised if it does anything. No, I don't know. Did the... Did the 461, was that this detailed? I don't know if it was. You could push the emergency buttons, I'm sure, but they didn't do anything on the... Um, 461. Right, let's leave this in Newcastle. Let's very quickly fly on over to the first Great Western one. Uh, let's do that. And then we can go to... Not first Great Western, I keep saying that. I do want to look at some of the other liveries, but I'm saving them for uh, videos. Uh, you guys know that Great Western is not going to be my um, favourite livery, livery by a long shot, and uh, nor is nor the one I quite like. Uh, let's bang this in the Riviera line. Yeah, let's just do that mile. We're just having a look at the. A look at the cab. I'll look at the cab and the livery. We'll have a look at the livery. I will get through the liveries and videos. Uh, also, join me up on the live streams. Uh, you'll see me doing a lot of driving of this on Sunday. I know a lot of you won't be happy. Well, some of you won't be happy with me driving it a lot on the stream, but I will be. I'm really looking forward to going through some of the older scenarios and updating them. I'm really hoping that Armstrong Powerhouse, some of the older scenario packs that use the 150... Um, are updated to include this one as well. Oh, we've got some... Oh, it's in. Um, we've got some blue. We've got some blue. So that's your difference, really, with that, isn't it? Okay. Let's just get this set up and on our way. Ding. Mark light, headlight... Instrument light, tail light off, DRA off, we'll set the GSMR, just because we can. Uh, now we're going to be to Bravo, to Alpha 3-0, and we are at... Like to be slightly, you know, good with this. One seventy. I'm not massively brilliant with head codes. I don't. I do kind of understand how they work. I couldn't tell you them all off the top of my head, though. There's people out there that know a uh, head code, know what train it is, and where it's going. But I want to try the signal button that I pressed. Um, eight. Three zero. No, it doesn't let me press any. I tried this. Oh yeah, you watched the video. Sent and wait, and it just says wait. That's fine. Right. Let's get some spin. See if we get some spin. We're dry though, so there shouldn't be much. Well, there is a bit, and this one's quite claggy as well. Oh, there's lots. <laughs> I should have got grip now, that's it. Oh no. Sounds are beautiful.
that's us now on the fluid coupling. See the RPM increasing as the powers as the speed's increasing. Yeah, it's going to kick us out of this as soon as we pass here. But I mean, I'm, I'm very, very impressed. It's a massive improvement over the original. It's definitely there. It's a pretty solid 8 out of 10 for me. A pretty solid 8 out of 10. I'm going to do some more driving with it, I'm going to do some more videos with it and you'll probably hear me rave about the fact that this thing is beautiful to drive. I can understand that there are reasons why this is the price it is, um, but at the same time I can see why people would be a bit sort of like, well it's 19 quid. But then, as I said in the first video, do please remember, Just Trains have been charging us 19.99 for very mediocre stock for years. For years and years and years. And yes, you might get a couple of wagons thrown into it, but you've got some god-awful reskins on there. Um, shady physics and rubbish textures and really crap sounds. The sounds in this thing are beautiful. I don't know why this is still let me drive so much. Usually it kicks you out by now, doesn't it? Um, sounds are beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. To drive is lovely. The cabs look stunning. I'd have liked some more functionality. I'd have liked a passenger view. Um, I'd have liked a bit of cab sway like on the 205. That's, I think that's the bit where I'm going to be, a, a, going to be that I'm confused about is the difference between why the 205 is still only 14.99 but this is... 1999, Different politics involved, I know. But yes, for me, it's a definite go and buy. I'm going to enjoy driving this. Once again, guys, we'll wait for that to go. Once again, guys, thanks ever so much for joining me for part two of this video. And please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to the video. Hop on over to Facebook, join the Facebook page if you're not a member of it. And also follow me on Twitch and come and watch a couple of live streams. They're a bit rough around the edges, a bit like my videos, but they're a good gig when I get a good crowd in. So once again, guys, thanks ever so much and catch you next time.